everybody, welcome to another sweet, succulent episode of my Let's Play. I'm not sure why I chose those adjectives, but it will be both sweet and succulent. Um, we're going to build a big reactor and a quarry in this episode, and I have a bunch of other things on our list of things to do that I have no confidence that we'll get to. So let's start <clears throat> by building the big reactor. Now, Zelda has been hard at work out here on uh, something big and glorious. And we will check that out a little bit later on. Um, not too much has happened between episodes. We've done a little bit more mining. Um, I made an, an expert lumberjack and gave him iron armor because for some reason he couldn't stay alive. Um, found some ender lilies. Um, Zelda found a bunch of different things um, in a dungeon, I think, maybe. We got tons of leather and wool in our factory here, and these are self-regulating, as Zelda pointed out, because the uh, four shears break e after a while, so that's just not going to overflow and go nuts like I originally anticipated. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Big reactors. I have a bunch of stuff um, ready to go inside of here, so as to speed this up a little bit, and I'm really not sure um, how much or how many blocks we're going to need. So let's see. Let's find out how to make these big reactor casings, okay? We're going to use some iron, a yellowium in the center, and some graphite. So we're going to need a lot of iron. Iron, iron, iron everywhere. And just so it um, makes it look a little bit better, let's get a little bit more. I had compressed those because we didn't have enough space before, but now that we have AE, plenty of space. So let's get iron and the outsides, graphite in a pattern just like this, and uh, some of that. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and make 64 of those. And I'm going to make another 64. All right, so now we have tons of those. Let's lock in that recipe by right-clicking. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to use some reactor glass. Not sure how much. This stuff is way harder to break than the other stuff. We'll do like 20, 24. And we're going to need a reactor controller. This is just a guess. It's just an, an in incorrect guess, obviously. Let's see. Oh, we need blocks. Oh, if I had gotten a better look at that. Um, Eulorium. Do, 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 do. Maybe I did have it just about dead on. Alright, I did. So we have a reactor controller. We have a bunch of housing. Now we're going to need... Oh, we're going to need five Eulorium fuel rods. And I'm going to make ten just in case. Okay, so this is graphite, Eulorium graphite. Graphite, Eulorium graphite. A whole ton more iron five ten okay I do have a size in mind for this um, we're gonna need some um, import er, access points we're gonna need two of these so I'm gonna need a chest looks like I neglected to bring along a piston I'm not sure where my pistons are Z, can you sleep real quick? That would be lovely. Not that we actually really need to anymore. I'm not sure why I was so concerned. Um, here we go. Let's go back to big reactors. Do the piston. And those. We're going to need two of these. One will be import. One will be export. Um, reactor control rods. We're going to need five of these. Okay. So we're going to need a redstone. Lorium. Oh, that must be backwards. Do, 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 do. What in the world? What in the world? I just got a weird look from Zelda because I didn't know what I was doing. What the heck? Reactor casing? Graphite bar? Oh, these are just backwards. Yeah. 
One little thing makes all the difference. For five, okay, so controller, two of these, ten rods, reactor casing, um, reactor power tap. Very good. And I believe that will probably do it for us. So I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of making a little room to make the big reactor in. And this is a pretty little room. I had to smelt some of this and change that. And that's why I have the unifier up there to change this stupid marble. Um, let's go ahead and build this baby. Three, four, five. Do, 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 do. Epic fail, Captain. All right. Epic fail times two. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna put our fuel rods. We're we're not gonna mess around. We're not gonna build a tiny, big reactor to start. We're gonna build a little monster. Little monster. Um. Ooh, I should probably get some water. Um, no, I'm actually not going to get water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to Enderium. And we're going to get some iron pump in here. This is going to use a lot of iron. A lot of iron. There we go. Make a couple stacks of that. Um, let's see if we have buckets. Yes, we have six buckets. We should only need four buckets for what we're doing, but I'm gonna, I made a fluid transposer and uh, magma crucible, and we're going to squish this stuff down. And that should go right into here, and we'll get some buckets set up. Get that ready. That will amplify um, the heat of this thing. And the more rods that we have, the more heavily irradiated the core will be, so it will use less um, Eulorium and there'll be less waste and what I'll do is I'll just dial back the control rods to suit or to uh, accurately fit our power needs so we're not overproducing and we're just using uh, basically the only things only thing that we need um, I'll put a reactor access point here and here we'll go ahead and change this one to outlet mode where we'll put our reactor controller in the center. Let's go ahead and drop our fuel rods up top here. <laughs> this thing got a little bit tight. No big deal though. And we need one more there in the center, which I will not be able to see. Okay. This was if a... Oh and uh, the hammer is used to make those little these odd little blocks on the side. You just have to right and left click with the hammer a little bit to get those to your liking. I think I asked myself that question in another episode. Or last uh, episode three or four, something like that. Anyways, let's get a bunch of buckets. We're going to need four of them of this enderium and many more for what's to come. That thing looked like it was out of power. We're not getting enough. I've been smelting here for quite some time. Oh, no, it's still putting out power. It's just very slow, which is what we're going to remedy right now. <sighs> we need a power tap. And I'm just going to put the power tap back here temporarily, just for the sake of symmetry. And it looks like I forgot those reactor glass. So let's grab some reactor glass. I think I might need a little bit more reactor glass. So I'm going to grab some, grab some more. Let's come down here. Doop. Elevator blocks are on my to-do list. Let's dump some resident ender. I kept saying enderium. Clearly I didn't know what I was talking about. And one more here. That will keep us nice and warm and toasty and cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. An unforeseen... <laughs> Captain! 
We're leaking. And if I fall in there, I'm going to get teleported to some random spot. I knew there was a reason why I went to get the glass first. All right, there we go. The multi-block has formed, and we have a big reactor. Um, that was that was fairly easy. It looks like I have four left over, and I was almost dead on the money with my first guesstimate. Let's grab some elorium. Okay. Oops. Come down here. We're going to put some elorium in the input side. Didn't use quite a whole stack. And let's see what this baby's capable of putting out. Oops. Um... Oh man, this is quite a power jump. Quite a power jump. 3.34. 3,300 RF per tick as opposed to the paltry 80 that we're putting out right now with this thing. So, that is amazing. And since we basically don't need the majority of the power coming out of this thing. I'm going to crank these things to about 90. That way it will dr dramatically reduced, reduce our waste. Because right now we can't be wasteful because we don't have too many resources. We'll dial it back a lot. <clears throat> Let's see what this comes back to. Um, Okay, it's still it's probably going to sit right around there. So that's that's still pretty awesome. That's still a ton more than what we're making right now, and uh, that buffer internal power buffer will slowly raise. So for now, I'm just going to oh hold on. I actually want to see the waste. See the waste. That's what we're going after. This thing is not wasting any energy, which is amazing. So now we have a big reactor, and um, we need to do a couple other things. We need to make. Um, a tesseract because I do want to make a quarry and the tesseract is one of the most obnoxious things in the world to make just take what I say in stride that might not be true so we need tin um, we need buckets of enderium and we need shiny metal I only have had a few shiny metals where are they here we go no uh, three I'm not sure not quite sure how far this is gonna this is gonna make us or let us go here. So let's pulverize these down a little bit, and then we're gonna have some more enderium or resid ender. I keep saying enderium buckets. Um, wow, I'm right in the money with all of my calculations today. My calculations. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do um, pulverize shiny metal. And then we're going to do some tin dust, 369. That's all we need. Oh, don't mess up my ME. Okay, four. And then put this bucket in here. So that's actually, that's actually perfect. That's what we need to make the uh, Tesseract. And we're going to furnace this up. No, we're not going to furnace it up because we need blazing pyrothium. Blazing. Let's find out how to make that. We need some sulfur. I think it's going to be the biggest problem. Oops. Here we go. Um, sulfur and coal dust. Okay, so I can I can fix the coal dust thing. I think I can pulverize this into coal dust, right? No, charcoal dust. Zelda, we might need some sulfur here. We might need some sulfur. And the problem is, I don't know where to get it. You heard? No, I do know where to get it. Um, you can make it like from smashing some sort of ender stuff. I think... Oh no, we need blaze powder. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we have some blaze. Look at this. Look at this. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Um, yeah, okay. This sulfur. Where does sulfur come from? An extractor? Ain't got that. Pulverizer? With nether sulfur? <gasps> Ooh, I saw some nether sulfur. 
There's some right when you right when you walk in, right? Getting the Ardite pickaxe. We're going on a mining trip. Going on a mining trip. Try not if I die with this Enderium blend on me, I'm literally gonna tear somebody's face off. So everybody say a prayer. Oh, I'm being attacked. The minute I walk through I know I saw some. I know I saw some. I know this is it too. Yes. As I piss off all the pigmen, I'm going to get out of here and not press my luck. Oh, I am going to press my luck and I'm going to mine this cobalt while I'm in here. Oh, help, help, I'm being repressed. Hey, my archer came through. <laughs> he sensed a danger in the camp. You sense danger. What a Philly episode this is. <laughs> Alright. Let's go and pulverize this. If you watched the last episode, you know that I saw this. Because, uh, or whatever episode that we went into the nether. Okay, so now we have tons of sulfur. Sulfur dust, blaze, redstone, and coal dust. Sulfur dust, blaze, redstone, uh, sulfur. Here we go. Last ingredient. Blazing. Um, we might not have enough blaze. Which is obviously a problem. Induction smelter. Let's see how much this makes, because I think it, it's going to consume, I think, two pyrothium dust, or a couple, or three, or something. Oh, no, I lied. It's just going to get us a lot. Oh, I'm going to poo poo. I'm going to smelt this up. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's do something productive while we're. Watching paint dry here. Diamond. Let's make a diamond pickaxe. And then let's make a bunch of sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these. Let's go ahead and grab some. Where'd it go? Zelda? There. Blaming Zelda immediately. Let's make seven of those. Let's. We're running low on iron here. We need 39 iron bars. <laughs> what did you need that many iron bars for? Yeah, 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 I know you did. Alright. I think we need. One, two, three, four. Four of these, and then two of these need to be diamond. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and this, and then we'll do um, this and that, maybe? No. And I think a simple piece of redstone will finish her off. Yes, there we go. Get a quarry. I'm like a crafting machine today. Let's get some of these. Some lapis. We'll go ahead and make three landmarks. Um, let's go ahead and get some of this. Let's get some silver. And... Gold. I just know what's up right now. Got eight of these. That will be plenty. Um, let's smash some gold. And let's find out how to make a tesseract. We need this tesseract frame, which is hardened glass, which is just crushed obsidian which we have. Okay, I'm going to get some crushed obsidian. 
This is so much work in building. I chose two two big tasks to take on in one day. But nothing we can't handle. Here at the Captain Cole. Captain Corporation. C and Z Corp. Just making up random things. I feel like I just threw something back that I shouldn't have. And I'm going to realize it in a second. Um, I think it was the gold. So you have gold, silver, and this will get us... Oh, that's it. Electrum. I'm going to smelt the electrum. Oh, no. I'm still confused. That's okay. I'm going to smelt that, and then to make that harden, to make that hardened glass, it is pulverized lead. That's what I need. I don't think I put anything back that I shouldn't have. Zelda is making noises, <laughs> signifying that he is on a roll with something. All right, that's plenty of that for now. Let's put this in here. Let's go ahead and grab this and put it in here and we'll start making some hardened glass let's get some redstone and put it in there make some more hardened glass and now I forget why I need hardened glass okay I need four hardened glass which means I need eight hardened glass because I need two tesseracts and oh wow I burnt through that obsidian pretty quick obviously the more resource intense of the two there's nothing I can do with this cobalt with any normal machine so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put it in my smeltery just like that get some cobalt cobalt and ardite will give me manalium and I think cobalt's the faster of the mining speeds for the two of them so we might just keep it at cobalt Let's come back down here, get some pulverized obsidian, make some more hardened glass. We need eight of this, eight of these, and then a little bit more electrum. So we're going to take some electrum and come up here, and let's put it, no, the other way around. We're just going to get six of these. Actually, I lied. I'm going to get 12 because I will have more than enough heart. What is the problem? Oh, here we go. For some reason, it's just, it's just appearing in my inventory. All right, so now I have energy conduit. I'm going to put that inside. Uh-oh, spaghetti-o. Let's get that bucket out of there and fill her up with destabilized redstone. We'll put that in there and we'll make some energy conduit so we can hook up properly. Ooh, I'm gonna need a spot loader. Let's see, chicken chunks. Okay, there's gotta be an easier loader. You know what, I'm gonna make this after the episode ends so I don't have to worry about making one more thing and this proliferation of of items that I'm ravaging out. That was not the right word. Do, 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 do. Zelda's shaking his head at me. This is the third episode today that we've recorded, which is probably explaining my exuberant mood. Nope, don't need that. We'll get some of these. All right, still need those stupid Tesseracts. Still need the Tesseracts. And uh, we do know that Tesseracts are made by doing that and adding hardened glass. And what's in the middle? The white stuff. All right, we'll get that. <laughs> um, more Ender Pearls. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna put a serious serious drain on the system here. I don't want to waste that redstone, so I'm gonna make. Where's my hardened glass? 
Seriously, I did not use it all. No. Gotta put this in here. Do 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 do. Zelda, you should make us coins of fortune. Out there. Since that's on the lift. Oh, okay, never mind. Someone was just impaled by the berry bush out there. I thought it was you. I could hear the the death. Um, let's do that. Let's empty that on into there. And this is going to be some serious trouble because these Tesseract frames take a multitude of resident ender. Maybe it's only... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. Because I want to have my Tesseract so I can hook it up to my big reactor, so I can hook it up in the mining world to my quarry. Mm, oh, we have just enough. It looks like it only uses that much. That much. So that's awesome. A thousand, a thousand apiece. For some reason, I thought it used more. All right, and that unfortunately is not the last step. We're going to use this in you know, silver and bronze. Bronze has seriously got to be the worst thing. Whenever a recipe includes bronze, I basically just don't make it. Because bronze is terrible. I know how to make it. It's just, I for some reason, I don't like doing it. Because you got to squish the copper, and then you got to squish the tin, and nothing's ever pre-squished. No, no. I'm just doing it my way, okay? What do you what what do you got it? Oh, how do you do it? I'm doing it. It's gonna be too late by the time he answers. <laughs> Banging furiously on the keyboard. Three copper, and one tin in a square. Isn't it copper dust? Are you serious? All these years I was doing it wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I swear you could... I swear you could do it this way. It was three... Yeah, you can. You can make four. Uh, I was about to start spouting my mouth off about something. But I'm just holding the piece. Because I don't think it was going to make any sense. Alright, now we have 12. Bronze. All we need is 8. And this should finally take care of this whole mess. So anyone that doesn't know how to set up a big reactor, a quarry, a tesseract, conduit, and everything else in the entire world will probably benefit from this episode. If you can tolerate my minor craziness. Yeah, you get Tinker's Alloy Ingots. Ain't nobody got time for Tinker's Alloy Ingots. Let me see if I can throw them in the unifier. Yeah. There we go. Get bronze. Okay. So now we have bronze just found a beekeeper. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Silver and then our Tesseract. There we go. That's going to give us one. And done. One and done. <sighs> Where did I put it? Here it is. Put that in there. One of these. One of these. We're going to get a... We're going to get two diamonds. Remember those ender chests we made? Still in here. Two of these. And we're off. Then we're off in the right direction this time. <laughs> we'll go down into the mining world, which we haven't been in yet. So this will be super. All right, so this just did something really funny. It made the portal underground a little ways. Luckily, I'm um, still pretty close to the, to the overworld here. So I built a little hole real quick so you guys didn't have to watch that because we're already drawing to a close um, as far as time goes for this episode. And I'm just realizing that I forgot a 
stick or a piece of redstone so I'm just gonna punch this thing to death with a land marker and I'm gonna make some great with logs make some sticks piece of redstone okay and what we're gonna do is number one we're gonna put a waypoint here and then we're gonna do portal so we don't ever get lost when we come in here we're gonna put one of these down it's a land marker and uh, we'll be able to really um, power this quarry pretty hardcore. So I'm going to make a decent sized one. It's not going to be 64 by 64. Let's, let's just do that big. That should be fine for now. Okay. I'm going to put that back there. It's going to make me a square just like that. I'm going to take my quarry drop it on the center there. It's going to keep 15 chunks loaded. I'm going to put one ender chest there. I'm going to put my tesseract. I'm going to check my chunk boundaries because I don't want anything on uh, on a boundary and I'm not. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's loading away. Okay. So I verified my chunk boundaries. Sometimes if you put a tesseract outside the chunk of the quarry, it just causes massive problems. And you don't want to cause massive problems. You want everything to be fine and dandy. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put a uh, new channel, we're going to do main power channel, and we're going to do, let's make this stuff go away, energy mode, we'll do receive, actually we just do send and receive, let's block these two, so it's just uh, main power send and receive, and that will bring back the bacon, so to speak, let's go in here we're going to sneak through this portal give zelda a little bit of lag and come back up here and then we're going to go to applied energistics we're going to make a basic import bus which i already have set up and we're going to take that and then we're going to put it alongside a basic processor we're going to make a precision import bus we're going to take our um, ender chest attach that there we're going to do accept stacks of items we're going to go down to our big reactor, and this is just a very, very temporary um, solution to this. We're going to do main power, and then we're going to do... Um, Zelda, are you near the base? No? That's okay. Um, main power. Turn this baby on. We'll block those. We'll do sending and receiving energy. And then what should basically be happening is that quarry should start loading up. And the only problem that we have here is that the quarry is not chunk loaded. So back at the base, which is chunk loaded, um, which we do have the resources to finally make, um, I have to be out here to see this thing go. So there we go. We are setting up our quarry and uh, before this thing gets too far I'm probably gonna have to make some more um, 1k storage cells because this is gonna start bringing in a load of stuff and I'm um, probably gonna have to sort out and clean up the AE system just a little bit more so that's gonna be it for this episode um, that was a lot to cram into one episode but I did it somehow with minimal interruptions which is basically amazing high five to me and next episode I'm not sure what we're going to be doing because uh, we've got quite the operation going and the possibilities are going to open up dramatically once this thing quarries down because this is going to give me way more resources than I have ever had so Thank you guys for watching this episode. Stay tuned for more episodes, more fun, and definitely more awesome because in the next couple episodes, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to demolish that entire wooden house and uh, make it a lot more modern looking, a lot more captain-ish, and um, basically a lot more pleasing to the eyes than just that wood. So there we are. See you guys. Stay poised.